You probably take vitamin C supplements. You may even take zinc supplements. But how about a supplement that combines both vitamin C and zinc? The immune system can always use the boost. Here's why. Your immune system has a number of defenses against pathogens. Under innate immunity, the first line of defense is your skin, mucous membrane, as well as lysozyme and sweat and tears and others. These keep pathogens out of the body. For those that penetrate the first line of defense, there is the second line of defense, the phagocytes. When cells get injured, they release histamine, causing increased blood flow to bring clotting agents and white blood cells, such as phagocytes, to the area of infection. Let's take a closer look at what's happening. Here's a phagocyte encountering a pathogen. The phagocyte engulfs the pathogen and digests it. While phagocytes will indiscriminately attack any pathogen, the body also recognizes and deals with specific pathogens through adaptive immunity. The heroes of the humoral response are B lymphocytes or B cells. These B cells are covered in membrane-bound antibodies that react to specific kinds of pathogens that may be floating around in the body. To be activated, a B cell must encounter a particular kind of pathogen, along with a helper T cell, which has recognized the same kind of pathogen. Activated B cells clone themselves, producing memory B cells, which can carry information on particular antigens for years. And effector B cells that produce more free-floating antibodies that tag pathogens and draw phagocytes to them. On the other hand, pathogens that have already infected cells are dealt with by the cell-mediated response. These star the T cells. In the case of infection, helper T cells aid in the activation of B cells. They also release cytokines that tell other T and B cells to get in gear. Cells that have already been infected by a pathogen call up on cytotoxic T cells which trigger the destruction of infected cells. Now, having a fully functional immune system will not necessarily protect you from sickness. For instance, take the common cold. Everyone has experienced it. The coughing, runny nose, sneezing. The common cold is a viral infectious disease of the upper respiratory tract, usually caused by the human rhinovirus. It is the most common human disease. Adults can have two to five infections annually, while children may experience six to 10 colds a year. Catching the cold isn't too bad. Symptoms are over and done with in seven to 10 days. However, the common cold still costs big money. In the US, 126 million workdays are missed every year by people who have to stay home because of the cold. This translates to nearly $40 billion annually. This brings us back to vitamin C and zinc. Vitamin C and zinc have been proven to enhance and balance immune responses. Vitamin C boosts innate immunity, while zinc boosts adaptive immunity. However, being healthy doesn't come that easily. Globally, many people suffer a lack of vitamin C and zinc. Here is what I mean. The Journal of International Medical Research reports that 40% of children in Hong Kong and 75% of infants in the Philippines do not meet the World Health Organization's vitamin C intake standards. According to the Journal of Trace Elements in Medicine and Biology, globally one out of three people have nutritional deficiency of zinc. In the Philippines, the seventh annual National Nutrition Survey reports that zinc deficiency is a public health concern with more than 20% of the population being zinc deficient. A lack of vitamin C and zinc makes you more susceptible to disease. So why not have both vitamin C and zinc in the same supplement? For more on how vitamin C and zinc can boost the immune system and strengthen one's defenses against sicknesses like the common cold, be sure to check out our next video.